Hello everyone, my name's Lost and welcome back. So today we are just going to do a couple of things. This should be a little bit of a shorter episode since the last two have been like about 30 minutes each I think. Um, so today we're just going to add multiple um, character support to the battle if you like. Um, so straight away let's just go into the room and add another spearman. And we'll just put him there. Um, so we want um, each player's character obviously to be clickable and to be able to move around but we don't want them to be able to move over each other so like this for example um, what we don't want is to be able to just move straight over him like that. that that is not how it should work at all we don't want that to happen um, so we're gonna make it so that as we maneuver or as we move, we will have to manoeuvre around the other uh, player. And this will be the same for, you know, um, enemy characters, any obstacles we wish to add to the grid later on. Um, oh, also, I've just realised... Oh, that's a bit of an issue. I didn't realise... Ah, Right, we'll do that first, actually. We'll sort this out so that this can't happen where just the move squares overlap and overlap and overlap. So let's, let's do that first, then we'll come back to this. So... What we want to say here is we want to just say um, if um, instance exists, or actually we need to say if instance doesn't exist, um, objects move square, then it will do this. So they should not be able to overlap and actually no this won't work actually what we've got to do is this um, hold on I'll, I'll demonstrate why this won't work uh, expected yeah. um, this won't work I don't think actually uh, let me just make sure yeah that isn't gonna work that was not good enough at all so what we actually have to do is this we have to say um, if instance exists object uh, move square um, then with object move square uh, instance destroy so this should allow us to select between them without overlapping yeah okay that's perfect and yeah it cannot overlap anymore right good stuff so anyway as I was saying a moment ago let's now make it so that we have to maneuver around um, the other characters on the map so the first thing that we need to do here is we need to actually close off um, grids that we can't move to. So the first, the first um, grid sections that we're going to close, so that we cannot path to them, are just going to be the other players on the map. And the way that you would do that is this: you would say with par player, and you would say if self um, ID does not equal the global ID. Um, then we need to add the cell. So we would go MP uh, grid add cell um, global map grid um, and then now it gets a little bit confusing here and I will openly admit that I don't know why this is the case um, but um, let me do it first and I'll show you what I mean so we need to get obviously the X position of the player, right? But for some reason, this function, the add cell function here, for some reason our grid is offset a little bit. Now I don't really know why that has happened, I've got no idea, but it's offset by 2 for the x-axis and offset by 4 for the y-axis and I have absolutely no idea why that is the case. Like I, I've, I've no idea, I don't know. But what you could write here, if you want to avoid having to remem remember that the grid's offset, is instead of doing it like that, you could write this instead. 
Um, so we could we could probably say um, MP grid um, add rectangle uh, like that, and then say um, global dot map grid, and then just say x y x y like that. And that should have the same effect, but let's just test that actually. Let's see if that works. I know the top one works, but I just want to make sure this one does as well. Um, let's see, does that work? No, why doesn't that work? Um, uh, have I not? Oh my god, I'm, I'm real stupid. So this actually had to be global dot selected dot id like that uh, not global global right. <gasps> Jesus Christ right there we go so this should now work I believe yeah so that works obviously we need to clear the grid first so we should be doing this first at the top we need to say mp grid clear rectangle um, and I've forgotten the position of the grid so I'm just going to clear the full screen uh, that sounds lazy because it is, but I do not remember what the dimensions of the grid were. So let's just go for that. Uh, is that right? Right. Top. Uh, there we go. So this should work now. Um, let's check. Yeah. So we can swap between them. And now look if. Oops, wrong one. But if you look now, in order to get past him, and we can't move there anymore because we don't have enough um, move points to get there now, you see. So, but we'll have to path around him anyway, you see. Like, we can't just jump straight over him, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's that. What we, what I also like to do is now is because, and this will be good practice this anyway, like, it might give you... Um... um just a bit of an example but I think actually I think just I would normally use this despite it being offset I would normally use this because I imagine it's probably just slightly more efficient but to keep this as simple as possible we're gonna use the add rectangle just because we know exactly what's going on with that like we can guarantee which section is closed and which isn't I mean we can with um, the add cell as well but with it being offset it might get a little bit confusing in the future so we will just do it like this. So the other thing, what I was about to say actually before I got sidetracked there is the other thing we want to do is since we're already um, checking the entire grid with this, we might as well close every other single square that we cannot reach. Like I see no reason not to do that since we are um, checking the entire grid anyway. So the way that we would do that is we would say else down here. So if the path length is is much bigger than our own pixel dist length, then it will just close that section of the grid. And the way we'll do that is we'll say um, MP grid add rectangle. Since we're doing it this way, and then we'll say global map grid um, ix row uh, ix row, and this should close every single point on the map that we cannot reach. Let's just check that. So yeah it does. There is a little bit of an issue with this and I don't really know what's causing this but this section of the grid doesn't get close. So two spaces after um, the character. The very bottom sec the very bottom row does not close this section. I have no idea why that's happening but it doesn't really matter all that much. Like It's not really affecting anything. Because any time we can't reach a certain point it's blocking it off anyway so we can't actually move down here because there's no move squares there and this has blocked it I will see if I can figure out what's causing that though I've absolutely no idea um, but I'll check it out and see if I can find why that is happening um, although it doesn't really matter why that's happening because it doesn't affect us uh, but yeah it is weird nonetheless like even this one does it slightly weirdly but I'm not too concerned. If it becomes a problem, then you know I'm sure I can find a solution. But right now, it is absolutely fine. 
Um, oh, one last thing before we go actually. This row here, instead of setting it to zero, you can just set it back to 128 because that is the very top row of the grid. Um, so let's just check because when we were setting the row to zero, so it's like the row is now right up here, so it's got to check every single sort of line, whereas now it'll just check from here, you know, like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's good enough for this episode, guys. Um, again, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave them below. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.